Welcome to this week's Ask AdWords. I'm Alex. And I'm Joe. As usual, we're going to answer the questions you sent in to us last week, or three of the questions you sent in to us last week. If you want us to answer a question, um, your question on the air, just send it to us over social media using the hashtag AskAdWords, or just put a comment in this video. We'll go through all the questions, select a few for next week. Perfect. Um, first question this week, though, comes from Leo, um, and the question is, can you deduplicate conversions across AdWords accounts? So what this question is basically asking is if you have multiple AdWords accounts that lead to a website where eventually they make a conversion, is there a way to make sure that it doesn't get attributed to all accounts if mm -hmm. someone were to click on an ad from every account and eventually convert? Basically, if you have AdWords conversion tracking and you click on an ad from one account and then click on an ad from another account and then convert, it'll attribute it back to both accounts, which is not what you want. So mm -hmm. the way to deduplicate is to actually set up the goal through analytics. If I click on ad one, click on ad two, and then convert, it's only going to attribute that conversion back to the most recent ad that was clicked. Yeah. He's the analytics expert. I don't have much to add. But <laughs> for those of you that are like, what is going on? Basically, like if you have multiple accounts, you don't want it to seem like you got five sales because you have five accounts, but you only got one sale. So the analytics goal goal tracking is what you want to, is what you want to use. Extremely well said. <laughs> Second <laughs> question today comes from a Twitter user and it says, does the ad review process take longer for display ads than it does for text ads? Okay, so whenever you create an ad, they have to be reviewed to make sure that they're appropriate, your website's working, uh, to the benefit of the user and to the advertiser. Um, and most ads are going to be reviewed within one business day, regardless of their format or type. Um, if it's taking more than one business day, maybe give it a little bit more time. Another day, probably working hard to, to get it reviewed. There's a lot of ads to review. If you find that your ads are taking more than two or three days, um, give us a call, resubmit it, you know, whatever you want to do to let us know. Um, but yeah, regardless if it's display or text, should be looking at about a one day turnaround in terms of the review process. Excellent. Nice. Final question comes in from Amin, who asks, can you please explain the metrics in the search funnels tab? Great. So the search funnels tab is actually kind of a newer feature. If you go to tools in the top of your screen, click on conversions, and then on the column on the left, click on search funnels tab. Um, basically, it's almost like mini analytics. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see a little bit more detailed information on your conversions, how many conversions you've had, how many days it took from the time the ad was clicked to the actual conversion. There are a lot of different metrics you can take a look at, and there's a column on the left that you can look at the, the top conversion path and the first click analysis. This a lot of cool things. Ultimately, analytics is going to allow you to, to see that information and more. But if you don't have analytics, this is kind of the next best thing. Yeah, again, the analytics expert, Joe. <laughs> I can't add anything to that. And in order to make sure that you see that information, basically you need to make sure that your analytics and your AdWords accounts are linked. That's one thing that I forgot to say. So very important. And there's more. Excellent. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this Ask AdWords episode. If you have future questions, please feel free to use the hashtag Ask AdWords on any social media site. We'll find it and maybe put it on the show. Have a good one. Bye. And conversion. So I only had 30 seconds to point out my favorite <laughs> metric, um, but I, if I were you and I was going to see my account, I would point, uh, I would look through the rates. Absolutely, and one follower more drawn to that ad, and from what I've seen, um, that is generally correlated with things like conversion. So it's not like it's perfect, it's not a direct, you know, one-to-one -one sale problem as well. Second today, question today comes from Patrick, and it reads, can I enable email notifications for billing issues across multiple emails? Um, just go to the here icon.